Welcome to my channel. This is Tora, and in this series, I will show you how to create the CFD simulations of semi submersible platform for offshore wind turbines. First, I need to disclose and disclaim uh, about this uh, project. And I belong to Hitachi Zosan Corporation, and the designs uh, shown in this uh, tutorials doesn't have any relationship whatsoever to my company's proprietary uh, platform designs and this uh, OC4 deep sea wind design belongs to NREL and the details can be seen on their website and the comparison data is taken from this paper from Shanghai Jiantong University and it's hydrodynamic studies and performance analysis of OC4 deep sea wind platform by CFD Limited. The paper itself is publicly released and available on their website. The PowerPoint slides shown in these videos are just the summary of the above two documents, the design report from NREL and the paper from Shanghai Jiantong University and the copyright totally belongs to the respective owners. I am just uh, summarizing and showing this on the PowerPoint to make it um, easier to understand and uh, easier to uh, summarize. Okay. And I make no warranty uh, about the completeness, accuracy, reliability, stability, or usefulness of the information in this uh, material okay. and let's go ahead and uh, talk about the procedure and first i will create the geometry of this uh, platform uh, by looking at the drawings and using salome and i will export as an stl file and i will use snappy hex mesh to generate the required uh, computational mesh for open form and I will set up the boundary conditions, physical properties, and numerical schemes in open form. And I will uh, compute the CFD simulations. After that, I will use uh, Paraview and Python, Excel, etc. for uh, post processing. So, before doing anything, let's see what the um, uh, wind turbine looks like. So this is the OC4 deep sea wind uh, semi -sub, uh, semi submersible platform, and this uh, is taken from the NREL's uh, report. You can easily find it uh, on their website, and all of these uh, drawings uh, from them. So the we need to look at these uh, to uh, confirm the. Uh, the, the dimensions of the uh, platform and I will only compute the platform part. I will not include the tower and the wind uh, RNA assembly parts. Okay. And this is the drawing and we will uh, I will walk you through about how to create the geometry in Salome using this. And these are the dynamic properties <coughs> and the drafts and etc. And so now we have the overall mass and um, the location of the uh, wa uh, still water line, etc. And we can see the uh, the overall uh, draft and the distances. Okay, and we can see where our uh, center of mass of this platform locates. Okay, and we have the total mass including the ballast and the location of the uh, CM, the center of mass, as I shown before. And these uh, dynamic properties are very important, especially if uh, you want to properly uh, simulate the uh, motion of this platform and other waves.
and the rest is more of the um, structural property so I will not cover this so I will use this drawings and create the geometry and so on so we start up the Salome and go to the shape bar module shape bar is my favorite for creating the geometries and especially if you have um, uh, several parameters you want to optimize and the geometry module is more of uh, for cleaning up the geometry so I will not cover it so let's go ahead and create something so in the shaper you click part new part and create a sketch I will choose uh, its Y plane okay, choose that plane so I will draw this uh, triangle okay, draw lines okay, good all I want to do, all I need to do is to give the uh, length is 50 meters and to make all the sides the same. So this is a um, uh, equilateral triangle. We, we have this triangle and I will create um, I'll make it okay. So I will uh, keep this at the center of this triangle. I will make it to uh, this line and this line equal length. So now we have uh, our uh, sketch is fully constraint this green lines means it's fully constrained and we are good to go so I'll click OK so this is our uh, sketch for the base we can uh, create either the uh, the beams here or the floats okay I'll first create the beams uh the spikes i'll think about the fl uh, floats later I'll do create the pipes i will create pipes uh, along these lines so to do this we first need to create a uh, cylinder a uh, circle and we will extrude along this. So I will create a plane with this, a line and a point. Click this line. And we need to click the point, but we first need to click this perpendicular and just click the point. Now we have the plane perpendicular to this line at this point. Okay. So I will create a new sketch based on this plane and draw a circle and give a radius of how much it's 1.6 meter diameter so it, in Salome we only have radius so I will give it 0.8 click it OK and Hide this plane. Okay. So now I can extrude. So to ex extrude, uh, we will use this pipe. Okay. And base objects is. Uh, we actually we can extrude this along the wire. Okay, maybe it's easier to create a wire from 
that's two. Okay. Oh, it's uh, it's all. Oh, no, 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 it's it's sketch one. It should be sketch one. Okay. I will extrude the pipe. This object is. We need to click this uh, area to make it solid. And the part object is uh, a wire. No, I think I will delete this. I will make a more simple way. Click this. Mm -hmm. The part of it's a bit more work, but it's more simple. And apply. And we can rotate this uh, along this particle vector, around this particle vector. So I'll create a vector axis from to <laughs> I'm not sure. So I think I will I will use the hard way and it's we need to create uh, the planes for all each of these lines and create the sketch on each of the planes it's not efficient but it's uh, probably an easier way in okay. the side effect is we have too many uh, planes I will extrude again the object is this, and the part is this line. Okay. Good. Now, I need to take care of this line. And line and points. Dimensions. This is not okay. It should work. This object is here. Have um, these three uh, three pipes. I will create uh, another one. Yeah. <coughs> and sketch. I have too many planes and too many sketches. Now I will extrude this along this line. Okay. And this time I will use uh, angular copy. But the problem is I need uh, this axis. So I didn't have these axis uh, before. So I needed to do them uh, manually. But now I have the axis the the axis so to select the pipe and angular direction is this line and we can set the number of three okay. now we have the this 
with it. And you can combine all of these. This okay. And just we you need to remember this remove intersection and this. Now these are uh, connectors because I want to uh, hide this. The next step I will create these floats. So the uh, lower one is uh, of twenty four meter diameter and the upper one is twelve meters. So create two sketches and. Plane should be our x y plane, and I will draw circles. Twelve meters radius. This mid one is six point five meter diameter, so it's three point two five meter radius. And click it. We have our uh, lower uh, floats, and I will create another sketch. Okay. Circles. Hmm. This time I won't need um, this uh, center circle because I will I will just extrude it to both sides. This is six and radius. Okay, it's not good. Delete these all three circles and do it from do it again. One by this one is also I don't know why, but sometimes it happens. It says my uh, sketch is over constrained, so it's not. But now it's okay. All you need is to uh, delete the sketch and redraw pro again carefully, one by one. So I will extrude these. This one is extrusion. This guy is uh, faces wires. So and you click this, and the base object should be sketch six. Okay, six. And the direction is negative set direction. No, not this one. And the thickness is six meters. Okay. And another extrusion uh, seven. And this time, it's uh, I will look at this. It's twenty six meters. We we need to be careful, a bit careful about with this uh with these drawings, because it's a bit confusing. And the next one is this guy in. Positive set direction. So extrude again and click this area. And the distance is 26. Click OK. Okay, so we have our 
extrusions and we have this guy but we need to move up and down a little bit so this uh, our this uh, structure is around here so we need to move down by three meters and again we need to move this 30 uh 30 meter from the base so it's like 27 meter from and this new direction so i will move uh, okay let's use one one okay to move it we can use linear uh, translate use one and the direction is the direction and the distance is uh negative three meters now we have this guy okay and i will move i'll copy this to here so it's linear copy the main object is this translation and the direction is okay the direction and the distance is positive um 27 yeah we should walk okay now okay now we have the uh structure and i will neglect these uh structs uh, because uh in the shanghai Jiandao university paper they also seem to have neglected this but you can you can hear you can see here okay and the next step is to fuse all of these okay fuse and just select everything okay. we need to don't we need uh we, we don't uh you don't forget this one remove intersection edges okay now we have our structure Create it. So we need to create the SDL file to be used by Snappy Hex Mesh. And to create the Snappy Hex Mesh, I will move into the Mesh section. And we will click. We will show this fuse. And I will uh, create the mesh. I'll click the mesh. Create mesh. And the geometry is fuse to one, and we will choose netgen one d two d three d algorithm, and we can adjust the parameters. So the maximum size is ten, so I will make it one, and minimum size zero point nine zero point one maybe. So it's okay. Okay, and apply close, and now we have our mesh that is not generated. It's our we just uh, created the setting so right click and compute it'll, it'll take some time a little bit a few seconds probably a, a couple of minutes and we get we will have our uh, volume mesh but uh, all we need is uh, our surface mesh which is an SDL format and uh, all we need to do is uh, we just need to export it uh, as an SDL format. Here we go. Now we have our uh, mesh and to export, just right click it and export. And we will choose SDL file and it will show a warning. All we need to do is to name it OCE4, maybe. And uh, the type is SDL, the format is ASCII. We can choose binary or ASCII, but I prefer ASCII because I want to uh, change the names inside the SDL file uh, by uh, editing the text. So just click the save, and we will have the SDL. So it's on the desktop and where is it? OC4. OK. 
we did this one okay so this is the sdl file and i will right click it and see inside in Jenny, and i will move uh, i will uh rename this uh, mesh one as float okay, so i want to name the platform as a float in the open form uh bound recognition file so in this video we we just uh created uh our geometry from these uh drawings and in the next videos i will show you how to uh, create the mesh in snappy hex mesh by using this geometry and after that i will show you the step by step uh, of uh, procedures of uh, how to uh, uh, create the open form case directory by using this mesh okay thank you very much and stay in tune for later videos and thank you very much